New functionality has been added to the Electrode Wizard in PowerShape 2015 R2 so we can create multi-family electrodes. I'm going to demonstrate this by using my part here and creating a multi-family electrode of this rib feature here. So you can see I have some solids pre-created. The first thing I'm going to do is create a copy of these solids so I can create my multifamily electrode with two different undersized datas on them. So I'm going to select all my solids. I'm going to use my general edits to create a copy. I'm going to create a movement copy of minus 55 in the x direction, like so. Once I've created all of my extra solids, which are going to form my multifamily electrode, I can select them all. With my part as my active solid, I can enter the electrode wizard. I'm going to keep all the values as default and just click through my wizard. Here I'm prompted to input some undersized data, so I'm just going to put a semi-finish of 0.5 and have a quantity of 1 and then I'll hit finish. Now you can see that I have an electrode created. The next thing I need to do is create my copy. So I can select my electrode and simply using the general edits create a move copy. So previously I moved my solids minus 55 in the x direction. I'm now going to copy my whole electrode plus 55 in the x direction. And now I'm given this query as it notes that I'm going to be registering new burn information and you can see now that I have two electrodes there and not just one. So I'm going to say yes I want to register the new burn information. I can close that form down and now I have a multi-impression electrode so I have my one dot on my dies to show my first electrode and its position and the two dots for the position of the second burn region. Now to turn this into a multi-family electrode I need to right click on the top level of my electrode we can go down to multi-impression and we can select multi-family electrode. When I do this you can see we get the standardized symbols for our semi-finish and our finish and here is the GA drawing. I'm going to go back to my model and you can see that we've still got that there and we're told the undersized data. So I've got my semi-finish of 0.5 and my finisher of 0.35. I can go in and change this if I want to. So I right click and modify and I can change my semi to 0.45 if I want to. What I can also do is change my material seeing as I've got a user defined blank from graphite to copper. When I do this my electrode changes to the copper colour and you can see now that the little icon has changed from grey to a copper colour. We can do our burn area shading and we can also do a simulation if we want to. That is how you create a multi-family electrode in PowerShape 2015 R2.